Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. Today is going to be an informational video on the 2014 Ford F-150 XLT with the 502A package. This in particular truck or hack that you can do with this truck is available on every trim level with this center LCD screen. Now when we, be turn, when we turn on the vehicle, as you will see, the only gauges you have is your RPMs and your fuel, light, or temperature, your hot heating, your coldness and hotness of the temperature of the vehicle. Oh my gosh, okay, sorry. The temperature of the engine, your gas tank, and again, basically the same thing as that, and you will have a spinometer. But what lacks on this truck is a speedometer in here, which is available on most new cars now. They have a speedometer, not just in the middle, as these two gauges are, but they also have like a number in the middle or something like that. This is not available in this in particular truck or any of the 2014 and behind older Ford F-150s. So that's what everybody thinks. Today I'm going to be showing you that there is a hidden speedometer in this truck that you may not know about unless you watch this video or videos similar to it. And it is in simple steps. You have to start off with the key. Right here is the key this truck you need to turn on the vehicle but before you turn on the vehicle you need to find this you need to locate this little k button right here all right now basically what you do is you hold the ok button for two seconds and you put your foot on the brake while you still have the foot or your uh, finger over the ok you turn the truck on and it'll go through a little system in this middle part right there. Super simple. Okay guys, let's start that process off. Yes, the truck does have, just, just went away, 100,000 uh, 100, miles on it, and a little bit of change. I'll put that video up very soon. Built Ford Tough, right there. Okay, so make sure you do have your Ford key in hand, and I'm gonna put you guys right there. Like I said, you put your finger over the okay, foot on brake, and start. Let's do that. Over the OK, put your thumb over. One, two, three. Stick the key in and turn. Now keep holding the OK until gauge mode comes on. Assess their uh, gauge test. You'll see it'll do like a quick little sweep of the gauges. Now you can let the foot off the brake. Now you'll see that. It will go through a little series of tests like the all these will come on, all the different the engine light will come on. And now you can flip through. Give it a second. Just hit the OK. And it'll start going through all your little uh, LCD colors to show that you know you can still see all your colors, which is kind of cool that it has all these colors. I don't think that screen has all sorts of colors, but that's what it is. So now that you have this going on, that will not stop until you stop it. So you will hit the okay. So I will just kind of show you. You'll hit this button over here. You do have to hit okay after uh, it shows you gauge mode is on, or gauge, you know, the uh, engineering mode is what it's called is on. You'll have to hit the okay button. But as you can see, I'm gonna hit this button, that one, 
or the down, sorry, the down one, and you can cycle through all your different modes. So as you see, all the lights are on, including the check engine light, which is fake. Um, it says all micro, I don't know what that word is, coin. All these are on, which these are normally white. The red one is on, these are on. And you just keep flipping through down button. See, it keeps going. Oh, you hit okay. So you keep hitting the okay. And it's just, it keeps showing all the different levels of everything. As you keep hitting the okay button, you will see that, a moment now, vehicle speed. Now you do have to do this every time you wanna see it, but it will show you vehicle speed in miles per hour. This is pretty cool, but let's say you actually wanna know what you are in kilometers an hour. For whatever reason, you hit okay again. As you just saw there, it's kilometers an hour. Hit OK, speedometer, it just shows that. Tachometer, here's your RPM. So if I rev it up just a little bit, over 2,000, the RPMs will go up. As you see, we're about 1,300 right now. Is that 1,300? It's about, yeah, it's 15, uh, yeah, about 1,500. That's, per, that's precise, because that's what it's at. So now you can keep going over and hitting OK. Fuel level. Fuel tank is pretty full, but it does show you that. Keep hitting OK, and you see all sorts of different statuses you can see. Fuel rate, MPG. And all sorts of different cool things you can. If you ever want an, uh, to know this, I don't know why anybody battery voltage will come in handy if you know you're you might be a little low on your battery and that might come in handy um, odometer like if you want to set just like a little trip meter this is what that is uh, trip odometer that's one the trip a trip B um, so yeah this is just a cool little video on how last chime sounded see like different ways to um, and now it goes back to the gauge test so it just has all sorts of different cool little things that you can go through on your 2014 f-150 or even any f-150 of that matter with this in particular display so hope this all was informational for you guys and um, please leave a like on today's video uh, thumbs up comment share with your friends that have f-150s or just kind of want to see uh, this type of videos or if you like to see these videos these informational videos comment down below what other ideas I have or what other ideas I should do and things like that make sure to like subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hunter.